is moderate looking better tonight, Angie. The cool front. <laughs> Lisa Hoffman is the Parks Program Services Supervisor, and she is from Audubon State Park. She's here to invite you to a party. Yes. Hi, Lisa. Hello. Big party in the park. We do have a party in the park coming up, August 3rd. And tell us all about it. What's well, going to happen then? You know, it's almost time for the kids to go to bed early, get back to that homework grind, which nobody wants to think about. So <laughs> we thought we'd have another party in the park so that you could have a little more summer fun. Um, from 10 to 1 at our Lakeview Shelter on... August 3rd, we're going to have kids' games and activities to play, uh, live animal encounters. You can sign up to make something on the potter's wheel with Albert Bauman, um, giant bubble making, kids fishing. Uh, we're also going to invite the community out this time. Where there's going to be a fire truck there from 11 to 12. You oh, can kids will love look at that. the fire truck, have police cars out, um, public libraries coming, all kinds of neat things. So. You don't want to miss that, for sure. So are sure. all the same thing, things going on on a schedule or just kind of like a circus that are going on all the time? It's going all the time from 10 to 1. So okay. you can so drop you in, can do what for you while, want. Go fish for a while. Okay. Yeah, you sure can. Even pack a lunch and you know, enjoy it while you're there. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah um, we've also got a, um, another week before a Fresh Perspective art show comes down. So if you haven't been in to see it yet, you'll need to stop by to see that. Um, because we're getting ready for our new exhibit, which is called Perfection of a Summer Jewel. And that is uh, artwork done by a local Evansville artist, Joanne Scott Massey. And she has a unique, uh, very large florals that she does. Uh, so they're very vibrantly colored. It's going to be beautiful artwork to look at. So um, you can attend the artist reception for her August 8th from 515 to 630. And then the exhibit itself will be open from August 3rd through the end of October um, during our normal business hours. So, are those be, art pieces for sale, Lisa? You know, I'm not positive on that. I would have to find out. Usually, you know, usually that's an opportunity yeah, to a lot show of our their artists, work. Yes. A lot of our artists do choose to, to sell their work. So that's a question that our art director, Kim McGrew, could probably answer if he called. Um, uh, then coming up um, August 10th, we have actually have three activities lined up. Um, that has a 10 o'clock hike, our monthly hike, our Furry Friends Pet Trail hike. We're going to uh, go on to Eagle Glen, which is our only pet-friendly trail. Uh, that'll be a natural sled hike. We'll go up and down the hills and stairs. It's about a mile long. Your pet does need to be on a leash, though. So uh, we'll, hikers can meet in the museum parking lot for that one. Uh, also, the same day on the 10th, <laughs> you have to bring your picnic and eat and then have dessert with us because it's National S'mores Day. National S'mores Day. <laughs> That's yeah, going to be so, fun. Uh, we're going to be set up in our cardinal shelter with the fireplaces going so we can do it rain or shine. Uh, it's a dollar per person, but we'll be roasting marshmallows and making our ooey gooey treats to enjoy. And then also, August 10th, you need to sign up in advance for this one. It's our Mysterious Moths program. Uh, it'll be at 8.30 that night, so not only did you come in the park after hours, but you'll get to uh, work with Naturals Debbie Gady. She's going to bait and then examine uh, the moths and insects that come into black lighting sheets mm -hmm. uh, and then release them again. So it's, it, you would be amazed at the creatures that are out there at night. Attracted to the, that light, too. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so it's fun to, to watch those come in. Uh, and then we've got one more thing coming up. August 24th is a Night Sky Comes Alive program. Uh, if you've been out before to hear astronomer Joe Caruso, he's coming back this time for a presentation at 7.30 at the museum. He's going to be our guide to the night sky because we're going to learn about the myths and legends and the patterns that make up our constellations. Fascinating. Yeah, so um, he's going to tell us all about that and hopefully conditions will be good enough that he can have a telescope up at our golf course after his presentation. Always great fun at Audubon State Park. Thank you, Lisa. You're welcome. Balls and parties and more. We'll be back with more Lifestyles right after this. Stay with us.